Mm, that's Chuck. Welcome back to SNES Trunk Plays Chrono Trigger. I'm still very tired and very much out of it. But we're on to a very important part of the game. We've got a mysterious bat following us around. See that thing with the little red eyes? That's a little conspicuous, don't you think? Let's walk straight into this battle. And if I remember correctly, these guys can only be destroyed via magic. <laughs> And I do not have... Well, not destroyed only by magic, but destroyed most efficiently by magic. See, 13. I guess I should really have, have taken Frog back to the end of time. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. Just for fun. Just to kill some time. We'll see. Because otherwise he's going to be kind of a, a pain in the ass to drag around here. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. See, the game tells you. It's, uh, that's stupid of me. I shouldn't have done that. I was so eager to get to the cool-ass fucking... Uh, is this the right canyon? No, that's the Diodario Mountains. Let's go back to Truce Canyon. And let's get Frog some magic. How's that sound? <clears throat> anyway, what was I rambling about the last LP? I, d I talked a lot about Beavis and Butthead. I talked a bit about Seinfeld. Seinfeld's a show that's aged better than you would have thought. Um, at least I, I think it does. The main thing is Jerry's hair, Jerry's clothes, George's clothes, Elaine's hair everybody's hair and clothes. The only guy who looks normal to me is Kramer. <laughs> and that's because he, he's a crazy person. But, uh... Yeah, I think that show is still funny. Uh, but like I said, we usually just have it on for, um... Just to have it on because it's easy for, you know, you know something, some background noise for your brain to chew on. And that works. I think, doesn't he have a smart-ass comment about, uh, frogs, frogness? <laughs> That's it. Okay, let's bring him in here. I mean, do I have to fight him? No, um... Let's see what level I'm on. 19. Wait, is everybody at 19? 17, 19? Yeah, sure, let's fight him again. I wonder if I get the same shit, though. Let's kill some time, man. <laughs> it's, uh... I mean, I'm doing hour episodes. I might as well fill them with something. Frog's magic is gonna be such... So shitty. I might as well like just use him to heal. But for the sake of people watching, that is what Frog's magic looks like. It's kind of goofy. We want to get drunk. His. Uh... Right, we're gonna hit lightning again. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I've been saying frog this whole time. I really meant fish. Let's get uh, Frog, fi I'm sorry, Fish to uh, get a mid-tonic to his boy here. Perfect. I think I only need to use like two heals to, two heals at most to defeat this guy. Oh, just like that. Hey, Sword Stream, fuck yeah. That's, a, that's another really useful thing. Oh, I already got all this stuff, but I managed to get enough tech points to learn the next thing, so. Let's get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> I feel bad. I can't help but feel bad for people I leave behind. I haven't taken Robo on one adventure yet. Poor guy. He's lagging back at level 17. I wonder if he's just, like, back there stewing. Like, he's just super pissed off. He wants to turn against us. Oh, come on with these battles. Jeez. At least 
he ha he does have the Moss Immune uh, equipped at this point, I believe, right? And does he have the Hero Medal as well? No. Why wouldn't you have the Hero Medal? What is going on? Okay, let's zoom past these guys. God, I am so wiped out. We're going to pull through this. We're going to do an hour of the best game ever. It's the best show ever. It's a personal space show. It's another show I like. I'm not a f I'm not one of those like stupidly fanatical people about Rick and Morty. But it's cl it's good science fiction. It's good. Oops, where am I going? It's good uh it reminds me a lot of Futurama. Futurama has the same kind of vibe where it's like well, it takes place in the future. Of course it's possible. Anything's possible in the year 3000. We can just do whatever we want and make any joke we want. And Hey, those rats and bats back there stay dead. That's very interesting. Um, no, but uh, the first two seasons of Rick and Morty were very, very funny. Very good. Very clever. Um really cool ideas like Futurama had a lot of that too and a lot of the s similar humor season three was up and down season three has some really good episodes like the, the evil Morty episode um, <laughs> where they call them yellow shirts <laughs> that was really that was really well done all right finally a level up but overall uh, th it was there were some disappointing episodes in there and that they weren't all that great <laughs> We got them all bunched together. Oh god, they're gonna take turns jumping. You know what? Let's do this. Oh, never mind. Let's try that old sword stream. Is that something we can do to multiple people? No. What about X strike? No. What about fire sword? No. Is there something we can do to everybody? Will Fire World do anything against these people? Yeah, it will. Well, that's good. Yeah, Rick and Morty I like. Um, especially the, uh, of course, everybody loves the interdimensional cable episodes. The, the personal space show. It's so, it's so stupid, it's funny. Get stepped up. We're gonna get st Hey, wait a second. This is some horse shit. So yeah, we're gonna have to do individual magic here. No groups here. It's not worth it. Let's just take out these bastards one at a time. Which is handy. <laughs> we have to have the Y button do something. What's it gonna do? After this, we should see a, a passed out soldier with a note saying something ominous. I hate using this much MP, but I got more than enough. Uh... Yeah, this dude. <laughs> note written in blood. Use a pen, Sideshow Bob. The juggler. Okay. Is he talking about Ozzy? Not Ozzy Osbourne. Here we go. This is a really cool scene here. Some great pixel art. Yeah. The gargoyle cat looking thing on top looks slightly Looney Tunes ish, but other than that, that's pretty fucking badass. No, the bat isn't Magus, the bat is somebody else. Alright, this isn't. This is a, such a good touch in this game because there's no music, and you just have these ghosts of people. Uh, cool.
Got anything to say about that? No. That's what I thought. It's my mid ether now. Want to play? Yeah, you want to play with some fucking weapons and techs and want to play with fire sword? <laughs> yeah, we got more shit. More mid ethers. Shelter. Those are always useful. And these assholes all say the same thing. Let's speed this up. Not coincidentally, you can run right through these people. We got a nice view outside. Taking a look. <laughs> That's a Kodak moment. Our treasure. Well, isn't that cute? My buddy. My buddy. Wherever he goes. He goes. My buddy. Yeah, you already said that, jackass. Queen lean. Say something. Oh, it's Chrono's mom. Hey, mom. Say something. No, I bet. I bet you I didn't. I bet you, you don't give a shit. Oh, hey, Ulysses. What are you doing in here? Coming to watch, see what's going on? Yeah, if you come back, they just say all the same thing. You just come over here. Blah, blah, blah. Get past this crap. And then you go back to the middle. And, oh, suddenly there is a safe state. Or is it? Uh-oh. Cue the music. Yes, that's right. We need to get names of 90s musicians. Ozzy, Slash, and Flea. Actually, Ozzy's not 90s. He's goes back to the late 60s, 70s. That's right. We've abandoned the old... Do I do any... Okay, thank God. Let's get fired. We've abandoned the traditional uh, upbeat, happy-sounding... Uh, Battle theme. Now we're just uh, kicking ass with this super creepy theme. Good. At least I can one hit those guys. And those guys, as long as that's a critical hit. That works for me. Let's try what, let's see what Luca can do. Yeah, Luca's one shotting people. Even though she's losing HP by the, by the second here because of that Crimson Rain. 488 experience. See, it pays to... And the bat returns. That's interesting. Anything down here? Anything materialized? No? I like to start on the left. Whoa. This looks a lot different than when I was in here before. Dance. Dance. Tonight, our leader is to be born. Dance. Dance. Are you ready for this? Let's, uh, yeah, let's just stick with physical attacks. I still don't have lightning, too, so I can't, I don't have a clear screen attack yet. That dude's toast. Let's, uh, let us do napalm on these motherfuckers. That'll speed things up. That good old-fashioned grenade, even though that's totally not how grenades work. I don't see any shrapnel. I don't only see fire, bubbling fire. I guess that's why it's called napalm. And then only 70 experience points there. Alright, I already got that. I wonder if there's a difference between if you get it then and you get it now. If you wait until after the battle, or wait until you come back down this way. I bet there is. I'm just too impatient. Well, I guess that makes me a moron then, but that's not anything I don't already know. So, yeah, the whole gimmick in this uh, uh, castle, dungeon, whatever you want to call it, is that you have to kill 100 enemies. Uh, one time I did count, and I did count 100 enemies, which was pretty cool. 
But, uh, yeah. It's usually five per battle. These guys are reasonably easy. You don't have to use up all your magic against these guys, so... Makes it go by pretty quickly. Let's see, what else can I ramble about? <clears throat> yeah, MTV, uh, before the internet and stuff like that, MTV was kind of my, my big thing as a kid. I watched so much MTV. Talking Hanging with MTV with uh, Daisy Fuentes. Um, yeah, that's pretty creepy. Uh, I remember John Sencio, I remember Kennedy, I remember 120 minutes on it, uh, Saturday, or, uh, Sunday night, actually, because Headbangers Ball was, was Sunday night, or Saturday night, rather, I'm getting my days mixed up, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, hanging with MTV, God, that's all I did all summer, was just, especially the first year my brother left for college, um, he's five years older than me, so he w I was 13 when he left. Uh, we had cable TV. Um, if I was there, yeah, we we did have internet. We had AOL. We had 14.4 speed. At that time, I still would have been playing Super Nintendo, but I was really into. Um, uh oh, we got a big boss fight for Slash. Here we go, Sir Slush. I guess this gives you an opportunity to kind of. heal up here, but yeah, um, let's give him another one. I like to use these tonics, because otherwise it's like, they just sit there. Mid tonics are for battles. Mid ether... How many ethers do I have? Well, let's just use these. But yeah, I really enjoyed the hell out of watching MTV. That was kind of my routine as a kid. You'll be singing a different tune. Boss time! Okay, there is a trick to... Let's fight, fight Slash with Slash. Uh-oh. Do I try Fire Sword? Do I have to wait? I do have to wait. I guess I can do slurp cut. Alright, that's more like it. 318. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I can do 500 damage every every time around. That works. Uh, we're gonna do fire sword and slurp cut. Fuck you, man. Big time physical attacks. God, that is a cool looking spell as well. This guy's got at least 4,000, 3,000, something like that. Uh-oh. How's she gonna do it? Oh, she's fine. I think, uh, I don't remember what Slash's big, you know, damage everyone's attack is. Can't tell you. Because I don't remember. Um... No, during the day I would sit and watch MTV or I'd go to my friend's house down the road and play uh, Super Nintendo. We were starting to get into PC games at the time. Uh, we had Duke Nukem 3D, we had Rise of the Triad, oh, what am I doing sitting here? We had Rise of the Triad, we had, yeah, Doom 2 it was still big in our household. Uh-oh, that could be trouble. 76, no, we're still okay. I think I might slurp myself. Ish. Fifty-one. Still not really, not really anything to concern yourself with. Once you get below a hundred, then it's like okay. Or once you get around a hundred, I should say. It's gonna get a little concerned, but um. It was MTV during the day, and then at night, there was usually um, Comedy Central had on a movie or something like that. Let's just do... Do I have any combos with her? No. Let's just do Good Old Fashioned Fire. And do another sword cut here. 
but uh, they had Saturday Night Live reruns were on, I think, on the E! Network. Um, I watched Letterman back in the day. There's his big attack. Okay. Oh, and he's dead. That doesn't even fucking matter. And now, he's got this thing. So you thought that was easy? No. Now he's got this badass sword. Hopefully I won't die. Oh yes, he's a little more protected now. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, that's pretty substantial and I don't really have... Oh, I have... Shit. Let's slurp myself. Let's just rely on mid-tonics. But we gotta stay aggressive here. Um, what else was on back then? Oh, Howard Stern's show on the E Network was unlike anything on TV, so I watched that. A significant amount of that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I watched back then. Oh, this MTV's The State, one of my favorite all time uh, sketch comedies. God, that show is, still makes me laugh. Too bad it, uh, that, sh that show has an amazing cast that has spawned onto, like, other, all sorts of other things. Like, Tom Lennon has, has become, like, a network TV guy. It's really intensely strange. Ken Marino has shown up in all sorts of stuff. Ken Marino was the Louie guy. Who's got something for me? I do. What is it? Baba Ganoush. I want to dip my balls in it. Yeah, that that sketch. Um, yeah, let's get mid tonic over to Luca just to protect her. Oh shit! I'm out of stuff. Let's just do a regular attack and then. Oh, this is Frog. We should do regular attack with him too, and then let Luca be the uh, be the go-getter, be the uh, errand girl. Oh, oh, that's right. I have fucking Frog and X Strike and Sword Stream and all that fun stuff. Why aren't I doing that? Let's show off some of these other zero. Try X Strike. Uh oh. Make sure I have the right person. There we go. Getting a little too cutesy here. Oh shit, he's dead. Alright, let's revive. We're gonna attack him, and then we're gonna revive Chrono. Yeah, we're getting into some dangerous territory here. Alright. Tensing up! Uh oh. Time to heal Luca. See, the most frustrating thing is when you. Oh shit. When you miss out on the levels, that's the really annoying part here. I'm running out of mid. Oh, not frog. Well, whatever. That's fine too. Yeah, the state was, uh, what else was there? I'm Doug! And I'm out of here. Damn it, Dad, you're just too cool. Uh, shit. Don't kill her. This is why you need Marl. Can't rely on items for everything. Still not dead? Last mid tonic. Better give it to fish. Shit. 
Come on, you're not dead yet? Looks like I'm gonna miss out on, uh... Somebody's gonna not get leveled. It's gonna end up being Luca. Am I gonna die here? Jesus Christ. God, I only got 500 experience with Frog. I was so close. Oh, that was a poor performance. I just got sloppy. Well, I can at least use a shelter. And I got seven of them. So there we go, and you can save here too if you'd like. Yeah, him combined with both forms of the battle is uh, got a significant amount of HP. But thankfully there's lots of stuff to help you level up to that point. So you can take him out. This is a very long dungeon. <laughs> well, like I was saying in the last uh, episode, um, I'm not a big people person. I don't like, I'll be honest with you, I'm not social at all. Anybody that's known me for any amount of time will tell you I don't like to go out, I don't like to do stuff ever. Hence this channel, hence why I've been able to put out two videos a week for so long because I don't do anything. I don't like to do anything else. I don't really like people a whole lot. Um, it's just, I guess that's something that uh, comes about naturally when it's, uh, you've had you know, anxiety and depression and that sort of stuff for literally as long as you can remember. And when I say anxiety, you know, the, the thing people latch on to is the, the question they ask, the question many people ask, not everybody, is like, well, what are you so nervous about? Why are you so nervous? And it's like, that's not how it works. It's, when I say anxiety, for me personally, it's ha just having a very low threshold for external stimuli. External stimuli. So, for example, going out to uh, any sort of gathering where there's a shitload of people, that's not fun for me, because there's too many variables, there's too many things happening, there's too many people, there's too many things unaccountable that I can't be, that I can't account for. It's, no, nah, you can keep your stupid treasure. So, eh, let's take the stupid treasure. And you turn into skeletons. Oh, you turn into these guys, that's pretty cool. There we go. That'll take care of those folks. But yeah. And plus, uh, you know, it's really not easy to make friends when you're, as the older you get. It's uh, it's one of those things, I don't like Judd Apatow movies, but I think the, the movie I Love You Man kind of hit on something. And it's Luca's dad. Crazy. Can we do a good old-fashioned fire whirl on all these guys? Oh, let's take care of these guys. And then we'll hit this dude in the middle here. There we go. That works. So yeah, it's, it's really awkward trying to make uh, friends as a dude. I'm sure it is for a woman too, but as a, as a guy, as a man. <laughs> Uh, getting older, it's tough. And you don't want to become friends with people you work with. Because you see those people enough as it is. And, you know, you want to maintain that same level of camaraderie you have with those people. Um, because, you know, it's fucking work. You don't want to have to make things awkward or... Like, oh, we gotta go do this tonight! And it's like, no, how about I go home and not see you for a few fucking months? <laughs> I don't know. It's sick of people pretty easily. But no, the, the point is, is that when I say anxiety, I say I really mean 
Um, I, I think people underestimate the physical aspect of something like anxiety and like depression for that matter too. Um, because it is very physical. It's very difficult to deal with from a physical standpoint. Um, because it works like a feedback. It's like a feedback loop where it's, um, you know, you're anxious and then your your chest gets tighter, you, you're, sh you're short on breath, and that sort of thing. And then it's like you realize that's happening to you, and then it's like, what's happening to me? And then it just gets worse, like it loops. So, it's very difficult to, uh... And it's like, well, why can't you just relax? <laughs> it's like, it's like saying to, you know, like, why can't this fish climb this tree? It's like... If it were that easy, don't you think, like, it's just insulting the intelligence of, of people. Like, don't you think I would have tried that? <laughs> you know? It's very frustrating. Good old fashioned fire whirl. Looks like it's not going to work on, these guys are all too spread out, so let's just hit these guys. There we go. But you want to know what really helped me um, get over that? Well, you never really get over. Uh, you don't get over something like depression or anxiety or dealing with. You just come up with better coping coping mechanisms. You uh, learn to understand your own brain better. You um, you know emotional maturity and all that sort of stuff. Take things into consideration. You you learn how stuff works. You learn how you work. Um, and what ended up working for me was adopting my dog, Clyde. Um, it f I had like a kind of a, a breakdown when I brought him home for the first time and I realized like, oh shit, this dog needs me. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that, this thing does not care about my own personal stupid, oh, what is this thing? It's some crazy snail thing? What the hell is this? Can this do damn? Okay, let's just keep... Is that all it's gonna do? Yep. Okay, first order of business is we... Yeah, where's the real flea? It's that annoying bat that's been following us. That's our great touch, too. But no, getting Clyde, my dog, was a big turning point because it's like okay all my little stupid little nonsense does not matter because this dog needs me so I have to provide food I have to keep him walked I have to keep him healthy all that sort of stuff I take care of this guy so and I'm a big dog weirdo I've been a big dog weirdo for from day one so all right here's hoping I get past flea oh yeah we got the spaced out background here and the first order of business is to get chrono a mid ether and even then that's only 20 can i oh shit he's gonna be confused let's just attack with a physical attack see what that does 274 not bad good start all right good start for fish Let's just do Fire Sword and see how that fares. Oh, don't hit her, you idiot. Do I even have any heal? Uh-oh, now we can't see. Or I forget what that means. <laughs> yeah, this is the status ailment boss. Huge pain in the ass. That's right, mid ether is 30, not 20. I'm confusing that with another game. Shit. Here, let's see if I even have any heals. I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Damn, should have waited for a fire sword, but that's okay. I'm sure there's some kind of stupid, like, thing I'm forgetting about that protects me from certain particular, like, some accessory or some kind of, like, rock, maybe Rock Helm 
protects me from certain status ailments. I don't know. Maybe that's why Chrono hasn't really gotten... Oh, Chrono's, Chrono's affected. Alright, we're gonna use him to slurp and... We're just gonna keep going with the Fire Sword. Frog's gonna be our healer. Because I'm out of... I'm out of mid tonics. And that does 547, which is pretty damn good. God, he's picking on Frog! I'm sorry, picking on fish. Should actually try to remember my, uh. When I name these people. Right, let's just. God damn it, that's gonna kill him. Jeez. Uh oh. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, let's do that. I forget what the bubbles above the head status is. Oh, I guess it's just some kind of poison. Full ether. I don't have anything else. I just have regular tonics. That's pretty pathetic. But, you know what, we're gonna stick with X-Strike, keep kicking ass. Oof. This is not going well. What? He's dead? But it still says 23, oh, he's asleep. Here, I should probably heal her. why I need <laughs> Marl in my party. Okay, that's gonna kill Luca. Oh, it missed her. That's lucky. Just barely getting by. I probably have, like, I have to hit, like, six more fire swords. I'm sure. She's confused, but that's not that big of a deal. We need, uh... Wow! Okay! I managed to do it with all three surviving. Fire Sword for the win. I thought I was doing way poorly. And a magic tab. Who should I give that to? I'm gonna save that for Marl, because I like having her in my party. And I gotta fight all these guys again. Yeah, I kind of went on a tangent there about like depression and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, real cheerful material there that I'm going with. So, um, sorry about that. Could really use a safe state and a shelter. Uh oh, this isn't good. Please, less than 49. Thank you. Let's just get through this, please. <laughs> Can you stop wasting my time with these crappy attacks, please? I don't know why it doesn't default to the more powerful guy. It's annoying. There we go. I'm gonna have to replenish my health the old-fashioned way. Wow, this is the most lazy, half-assed playthrough I've done in quite some time. Oh, Luca learns Protect. That's useful. Um, okay. Let's just uh, slurp. Everybody gets big slurps. that we get uh, our mid ether for everybody and there we have it let's move on I have no idea how long I've been doing this episode so far is it 
Is it almost an hour? I honestly, I forgot to start the timer. All right, let's take out this big badass dude in the middle first. How's that sound? There we go. Okay, now we can just screw around and just lean on the A button. Turn the turbo on. <laughs> I'll shoot the guy over there. <laughs> okay. I'll risk hitting Frog and shoot in that particular direction. But yeah, that just, um, adopting my dog was a, a big deal to me. Um, I've spoiled him like crazy, I'm sure. Uh, but he was a rescue and he was abused in his previous home and he was he's come a long way He would he never used I think he was kept on a ranch or something because he was never he did not know how to walk There we go with the level up He never knew how to walk on a leash he pulled and pulled and he did really stupid stuff like try and uh, You know he'd see a paint can and he would charge after it like it was a squirrel or something immensely stupid oops turbo backfired in that case let's turn that off there we go by the way i'm using the i buffalo classic usb gamepad uh yeah i'm playing this uh on the emulator it's just easier there's Save states, there's OBS right there. Everything's right there. Everything's done right away. I don't have to wait for anything to render. It's just way more convenient, especially when doing big files like this. It's just, I'd much rather do it this way. So whatever. There's a lot of different ways you can record footage. A lot of different devices you can use. Okay. Is this an actual save state this time? No, it is not. This teleports you. Oh, now it's time for the usual. <laughs> it's an interesting direction decision. Like, yeah, now it's time to switch back. It seems like a good time to switch back to the regular music. Okay. Yeah, we are still in Magus's castle. In that case, really, Ugh. I don't have any full screen attacks yet, really. Especially not with this combo of people. If I'm not mistaken, Chrono has to be in this party. It's it's not just Frog. It has to be Chrono Frog, and then you pick a third. So, for a while, Chrono is the main guy. Well, I guess he has to be. He's the big heroic swordsman guy. Come on. Well, at least these guys get... Yeah, Fish learns heal. That is another very useful way to get rid of status ailments. Okay, here we go. Now we can utilize... Cyclone. What? Motherfucker. No, looks like I won't be needing that. I don't know why I picked Slurp Cut. That works though. I hate those things. They do they do big time damage, they heal. They're assholes. I am running out of steam. I might have to cut this one uh, short see what comes next. Let's see if there's another battle after this. I'm sure there is. As long as a as long as a battle gauntlet as this is, it still has nothing on the uh, the what do you call it? The underground palace, underwater palace when you get to that point. It's crazy. That's just one after another after another rid of those guys. There we go. 
Fuck you with your healing. And now that's gonna drive me crazy. Is it the underground or underwater palace? I think it's underwater palace. Oh, we're entering the destruction zone. Cousin to Kenny Loggins' danger zone. Oh, fish is almost dead. That's no good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap this up soon. Can't handle too much more of this destruction zone. Kenny Loggins. There's another guy. Answer in the comments. Were you more of a Loggins or a Messina fan? And I don't mean Mike Messina of the Baltimore Orioles or the New York Yankees. Very good pitcher. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, what is Power Meal again? I can't even remember. Okay, uh. I need to slurp everybody. Go, it's good enough. What's up, Ozzy? I grow tired of this as well. <laughs> tongue lick oh tongue flicking. Ozzy's in a jam! Jimmy's upset! George is upset! Mr. Robe, we can give that to Luca. Wouldn't you rather wear a robe than a gold suit? All right, I think with this, we're going to call this uh, an episode. Sorry, got to dip out right here. Please believe me when I say more is to come, including one of the coolest moments of the game. I'll be getting to the next episode. I did not realize this castle would be this long. So, uh, whoops. I want to thank you. Oh, yeah, you can go back and fight those guys again if you really want to grind. But I really want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.